A Park Ridge High School is investigating after this picture surfaced showing students reenacting George Floyd's death. Nate Rogers is live at Maine South High School with details on what happened. Nate. That's right, Anthony and Don. I'm staff and parents of students here in Maine South High School absolutely outraged and angered as a result of that photo making rounds on social media. One parent calling the photo absolutely disgusting. It's a controversial picture making rounds on social media, apparently reenacting the death of George Floyd. A white student face down, a black teenager with his knee on top of the other kid's neck. It's social media, it's destroying our, our world, our children, everything. It's, 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 it's for attention. People don't know the impact they're going to have, and it could, it could very easily be destroying this kid's life. Maine South began investigating the situation yesterday after an alert from an anonymous email. According to the school principal, it's believed at least one student connected to Maine South was involved in the creation of the photo. In a letter to students, parents, and school faculty, the principal said, quote, Maine South denounces acts and images of hate and racism and recognizes that this has caused harm to our school community. It's horrifying and disgusting. We're, 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 we're living in a world that we need to uh, treat each other better, um, teach our kids differently. Um, we, we should be way past this. It's horrifying. The motive behind the picture remains unknown. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was convicted of murdering George Floyd last month. Viral video of Chauvin's knee on top of Floyd's neck was played throughout the trial. Now, school leadership did not provide any information in terms of um, anything that could happen to these students as a result of this. The school leadership also declined to speak on camera about this story. We're live in Park Ridge. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 News. Thank you, Nate. Turning now to a developing story out of Minnesota.